Hello and welcome to the brewery and welcome to the start of a brew day. Today I'm going to be brewing a Nipa for reasons that should become clear shortly. But what I really want to show you today is something that I'm about to build for this brew day. I've got quite a few, quite a few components for this uh, so let's go and see what I've got. As some of you may have guessed by now, what I'm doing is building a system to allow me to effectively reduce the amount of oxygen that gets to the beer, mostly during transfer, but during cold crash and transfer. Uh, the aim here is to use some of the CO2 that comes off the beer to fill the balloon, but also to allow me to put some CO2 in through the top of the fermenter while I'm running off into the keg. So let's go and see it put together. Okay, so we have it completed. We have gas in on the top, so I can take that off and clean it, which is good. Then have the blow off tube coming round the side here, round here, and into the blow off bucket with a valve in that direction. The CO2 will go straight into the blow off bucket uh, with it in the other direction. Then we'll come up into this balloon here, which will hopefully sit over the compressor in the fridge gradually inflate while fermentation is going on and then deflate while it's cold crashing. So there we go, all ready to drop some beer in. Well, the device has been made, the beer has been brewed. I haven't yet cleared up, I'll do that later. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll obviously be back in a couple of weeks to actually um, try it out and try and do a uh, O2 free transfer into a keg. There's a couple of things left to do. I need to extend one of the gas pipes out from my, from under there, from regulator under there, so I can get to the fermenter. Um, and then that should be probably ready to go. Um, while I'm waiting, while I'm doing this, I'm going to have a look at how I'm going to get the dry hops in there, because obviously this being a NEPA, there's quite a lot of dry hopping to do. Um, so I need to get that in without getting any oxygen in. Um, so I think I'm just going to run that long pipe in, but I will show you that in the next video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later.